Yeah, Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening, sorry. Teacher. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. That I have some problems with my computer because Zoom just froze. But I'm back. Okay, um, I was telling you that today we will continue studying what we studied yesterday, that is comparisons. If you remember, we said that we are going to use comparative adjectives when we are comparing two people, two places, and two things. So today, we will study that with more details, and also, we are going to be working in some exercises. But first of all, we are going to watch um, the video that we have on the platform that talks about comparatives, okay? So here it is. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here we go. So let's watch the video and then I will continue explaining what we started yesterday, okay? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone, as I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in our discussion box. Okay, so that's the video that we have Pretty. about compar comparatives or comparisons. So you can see that here we have these questions. The first one that says, which one do you prefer? And the second one that says, which one do you like better? Or which one do you like more? Okay, and when we are answering those questions, we can say, I prefer, and then you say the option, that you like the most, or I like, and you say what you like the most, okay? So you can see here that there are some examples. Um, let's see, let me check. Um, Daphne, can you read the examples, please? Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better or which one do you like more? I like the leather one better or, or I like the leather one more. Okay, thank you. Daphne, can you choose another person, please? Um, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, can you read the next examples, please? Okay, teacher. That one is cheaper. Than the world one. This one is nice, it's nicer than 
the leather, the leather jacket is pretty thin. It looks bigger than it's more stylish, stylish, stylish. Okay. Than. Thank you. Um, Carlos, can you choose another person, please? Um, check. Very chicken. Okay. Um, Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Can you read the information that we have there for the spelling? Okay. Eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. No, eh, chef, chef. Chef. Oh, cheaper. Nice or nicer. Uh, ready? Uh, ready. Okay, sorry. Okay, we the have the first one that is vegan. Sorry, Beatriz. So I'm just checking the pronunciation. On the first one is cheap. Then we have nice, pretty, cheap. and big. Okay, so can you read the comparative form, please? That is this. Okay. Cheap. Cheaper. Okay. Nice. Nice. Fair. Pretty. 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 Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Okay. So you can see here that we have these adjectives. And there, there's also one thing that you can notice. So, for example, in chief, you can see that at the end, what are we doing? ER. Uh, ER. Okay, ER. excellent. ER. We are adding ER. Chip becomes ER. cheaper. Nice, nicer, nicer. pretty, prettier. Mm -hmm and big, bigger, okay? Another thing that was mentioned here on the video is that the comparative form is going to be the adjective plus ER plus done, okay? So we have small, we add ER, smaller, done. So we have an example here that says, this dress is smaller than the other one. Okay, and if you remember yesterday, do you see the presentation on Percy? Yes? No, teacher. Yes, yes, no, yes teacher. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. So I'm going to go to this presentation right now. Yesterday, if you remember, we talked about what an adjective is. Um, and we also mentioned when we are going to be using comparative, okay? We said that comparatives are going to be used when we compare two people, places, or things, okay? So first of all, I have these rules for one syllable adjectives. We need to be careful on these. We're talking about one syllable adjectives, okay? And it says that for most one syllable adjectives, what we are going to do is add ER to form the comparative. Ok. Si estoy hablando de lo que es un adjetivo que tiene una sílaba, ok, it's just one syllable, I'm going to add ER. Le voy a agregar lo que es ER para el comparativo. Ok. 
this presentation says or EST to form the superlative. El superlativo no lo vamos a tocar ahorita, ¿verdad? Porque ya eso es tema aparte, pero dice acá, ¿verdad? Que si no es un comparativo, ¿verdad? O es un superlativo, sorry, le vamos a agregar EST, ¿ok? So you can see that I have this example, warm, clean. How many syllables were you able to identify? Warm. Wow. One syllable. One syllable. Clean. One syllable. One syllable yes. too. Cheap. One syllable. One syllable. Okay. Um, young. One, One syllable. Excellent. One syllable. Okay, so since those adjectives have one syllable, that what I'm going to do is to add ER, okay? So in this case, warm becomes warmer than, and clean becomes cleaner than. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Yes. So I have the following information. Uh, let me see. Selena, can you read it, please? For one syllable, I'll just put the last name of the and one consonant. So the last consonant, and then add the R to the comparison or Okay, thank you, Selena. So you can see here that says for one syllable adjectives that end in one vowel and one consonant, we're going to double the last consonant and we're going to add ER to form the comparative. Okay, so you can see that I have here B. How many syllables? One. Okay, and you one. can see here we have vowel and then a consonant. Cons so consonant. I double the last consonant and bigger. And yeah. I add ER, okay? So big becomes bigger, bigger. than. Um, so than. what about the following? Hot. Hotter. Okay, and how do you spell it? H A D D E R uh, D or T D -er. Okay um hold on Okay so I have the following Okay on the presentation we have D but what about hot? Hot, hot. Oh, hot. You said, uh huh. So you said that it's going to be what is going to be the comparative form for this adjective? Hot here. Uh huh. Can, can you spell Hotter. it, please? H O T T E R. R. E R. Excellent. Hotter than. Perfect. Done. Okay. Let's see. Can you tell me another adjective that has the same characteristic? Do you remember any? It. Which one? Sorry. It. How do you spell it? A. Uh, um, uh. E A T. This is a verb. Oh, this is a yes. verb. Comer. We're talking about mm -hmm. adjectives, adjetivos. Remember that adjectives oh, okay. modify a noun. So we have hot. I have okay. the next one that is sad. And if you Hada. can see, okay, I have a vowel. And then I have a consonant. consonant. So 
what is going to be the comparative form for this adjective? Chatterton. Okay, and how do you spell it? S A T S A T D D E R. Excellent. Okay, so what about this? All. Oh. Older. Okay, and how do you spell it? O L D E R. Older than. Then. Okay. Do you agree with Leslie? Do I add another D or is it correct? It is correct. Okay. Why? Vowel. Vowel. Ah, okay. Excellent. I really like that. Perfect. So you can see here that the difference, even though it is a one syllable adjective, I have one vowel and then I have two consonants. So this one goes to the first rule that we just studied. Okay? Este va en la primera regla que acabamos de estudiar. Okay? So let's continue. Okay, so we were here. And we're going to the next one. Um, let me see. Selena, can you choose another person, please? Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan. Uh, for two syllable adjectives that end in Y, change the Y to an E and add ER <laughs> to form the comparative or EST to form the superlative. And the example? Um, happy, happier, happier than. Okay, thank and you. And the habits. Excellent, thank you, Jonathan. So you can see that for two syllable adjectives that end in Y, we are going to change the Y to an I, and then we are going to add ER to form the comparative, okay? So you can see we have happy, how many syllables? Two syllables. Two syllables. So since we have that these adjective has two syllables and ends in Y, I'm going to delete the Y and I'm going to add an I, E, R. So let's see the following examples. Okay, so I have the following. I remember that some of you say that adjective yesterday. Okay, so, ah, oh, okay, excellent, busy. Okay, so let's see, the first one, funny, how many syllables? Two. Two. Angry, how many syllables? Two syllables. Okay, hungry. Two syllables. Two syllables. Friendly. Three. Two, Two syllables. Two or three? Two, two syllables. Two syllables. Two syllables. Okay, and B C. Two syllables. Two syllables. Two. two syllables. Okay, so according to the rule that we just studied, what are we going to do? Change Y and Y E and add E R. Okay, so yeah. how how would it be funny? How would you spell it? F U N N I E R. Okay, yeah. excellent. Yeah. What about angry? 
A M G R I E R. Okay, Stand. angrier than excellent. How about hungry? H U N G R E L I E R. Hungry Air Dan. Dan. Okay, thank you. With friendly, friendlier than and busy. Busier than. Okay. Is that clear for you? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So let's continue here. Okay, so I have the following and it says, um, let me see, Jonathan, can you choose another person, please? Uh, Alex. Okay, Alex. For other two syllables, uh, objectives use more to form to comparative or the most to form the superlative. Famous, more famous than the most famous. Okay, thank you. So we have the next rule that says for other two syllable adjectives, if you remember the previous one, we said for two syllable adjectives that end in Y, we are going to change the Y to an I and add ER. But for other two syllable adjectives, what we are going to do is to use more to form the comparative or the most for the superlative. So you can see we have pay most. How many syllables? Two. Three. Three. Famous. How many syllables? Two. Four. Two, three, three. four? Three. <laughs> two syllables. Four. Four. Okay. Two. Two so syllables. I need two to syllables. ask this to you. How do we count syllables in English? ¿Cómo contamos las sílabas en inglés? For the, uh, with the song. Ah, okay, excellent. We count syllables in English by their sound, okay? A diferencia del español, que nosotros las sílabas las contamos, ya sea consonante vocal o un qué? Vocal, diptongo, etc., hiato. In English, we count syllables by their sound. Ok, las sílabas las vamos a ir contando por el sonido que ellas tienen. So, for example, let me erase this. Ok, for example, if I say fey mus, fey mus, two syllables, ok. Popular. Three. Three. Ok. Three. Three. How many syllables do you think it has? Four. Three. 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 Three or four? Three. 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 Okay, listen. Expensive. How many syllables? Three, Three. syllables. Three. Three. Okay. Yes. Let's Don't see. Expensive. Three syllables. Okay. Um, Four, 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 four syllables. Four syllables? Yes. yes. Intelligent. Five syllables. Five? Four syllables. Four. 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 Okay, four. Intelligent. Excellent. So in English, we're going to count syllables by their sound. Okay? 
La sílaba es en inglés, la vamos a ir contando por el sonido. ¿Ok? No es lo mismo que en español. Porque, por ejemplo, si, no, si me voy al ejemplo de expensive, yo puedo decir, acá hay una sílaba, acá hay otra, y aquí hay otra, ¿verdad? But in English is not the same. ¿Ok? I don't have uh, four syllables. I have three. ¿Ok? Is that clear? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so excellent. So now that we just studied that, and I have these examples here, so what did the rule say? ¿Qué decía la regla? More famous. We need to use the must. Okay, yes, we need to use the must if it is a superlative, but since we are studying comparatives, it's going to be, okay, more, more famous than. Okay, another thing that I need you to pay attention and to be careful with, algo que sí necesito que pongan atención, por favor, y que no me vayan a hacer eso, si no me va a dar un infarto, is the following. You can see, I have more famous than. This doesn't exist, ¿ok? Eso no existe, no me vayan a decir more famous or than, because it doesn't exist, ¿ok? Y a veces cuando veo que mis okay. estudiantes hacen ese error, estoy así como que, ¿verdad? Why you don't need to do that? ¿Por qué no tienen que hacer eso? Because more has that function, ¿ok? El more me está dando a entender a mí que es un comparativo, ¿ok? A diferencia de la primera y segunda regla que acabamos de ver, por ejemplo, teníamos... We had cheap, that is one syllable. In this case, it's going to be cheaper than. ¿Ok? Aquí sí le tengo que agregar el ER, because this adjective has just one syllable, syllable. ¿ok? You okay. cannot do this. Tampoco pueden hacer eso. More cheaper than. That is incorrect. Ok. Tampoco lo vayan a hacer porque ahí me da otro infarto. Ok. Okay. Yeah, please don't do that. Ok. Yes. Ya, este, ya los adjetivos ya están específicos a lo que se le va a agregar la palabra more. Correcto. Y en esos están los adjetivos que son de dos sílabas. Vamos a ver la siguiente regla en la cual están estos otros tres adjetivos. Ok. So let me share that right now with you. And Alex, can you choose another person, please? Ok, teacher. Mm, Selena. Ok. Um, Just let me get where we were. Okay. Okay, Selena. For attitudes with three or more syllables, use more before the sentence and the most before the superlative. Serious, more serious than the most serious. Okay, thank you. So here we have, for adjectives with three or more syllables, we're going to use more to form the comparative, okay? And the most for the superlative. So if I go back to the examples that we have here, you can see popular, three syllables. Expensive, three syllables. Intelligent, four syllables. So according to the rule that we just studied, popular will be more popular than. More popular than. than. Popular. Okay, excellent. More popular than. Expensive? More, more expensive than. than. And intelligent? 
more, more intelligent, intelligent than. than. Excellent. So that's the way that we are going to be making comparisons, okay? Así es como vamos a estar comparando. So we have popular, more popular than. Expensive, more expensive than. Intelligent, more intelligent than. Okay, igual, aquí no le pueden poner ER al final, because that is incorrect. Okay, any questions? Uh, teacher, I... Yes, Jonathan? Uh, este, I confused with and the second rule and no, and two syllables. Uh-huh. Why? Why to famous add more? Okay, let me just go back there. On the presentation, I have it, or you can see that it might be kind of confusing, but it says for other two syllable adjectives, because I have this rule that is that talks about for two syllable adjectives that end in one, okay? Acá estoy hablando de adjetivos que son de dos sílabas y que terminan en Y. Pero como yo también tengo otros adjetivos que tienen dos sílabas, pero no terminan en Y, lo que voy a hacer es agregar more y el than para el comparativo y the most para el superlativo. Ahora bien, si tengo adjetivos que son de tres sílabas o más, igualmente voy a usar lo que es more para el comparativo y must or the must para el superlativo, ¿ok? On this one, en esa prácticamente nos hace la diferencia a la regla anterior, del adjetivo de, de dos sílabas, pero que termina en Y. ¿Am I clear? ¿Me doy a entender? Sí. ¿Jonathan? Yes, sorry. Yes, sí. Ok. Ok, give me just a few seconds. I'm just looking for a lease. that I have for this type of, okay, so here it is. So for example, just take a look to this list that I have here, that is about comparative and superlative. So you can see that I have the first one that is whole. How many syllables do you see it? One. 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 Okay. Then I have cheap. How many syllables? One. 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 Expensive. Three. 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 Good. One. 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 Lazy. One. Two. 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 Two syllables. Two. Ah, okay. Pretty. Two, Two syllables. Two. 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 Beautiful. Three syllables. Three. Three. Okay. Difficult. Three. 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 Boring. Two syllables. Okay, so I'm going to say with these adjectives right now. So lazy. What is the comparative of this adjective going to be? Lazier. Lazier. And Lazier. what do I do? Excellent, Selena. Perfect. What about pretty? Pretty. Yeah. yeah. We do the same, basically. Perfect. Hacemos lo mismo. Eliminamos lo que es la Y y agrego I-E-R. Beautiful. More, More beautiful. beautiful. Excellent. Difficult. More difficult than. Perfect. Boring. Boring. 
more boring. More boring. Excellent. More, more boring, boring than. Yeah. Than. Boring. It has two syllables. Okay. So, ahí aplico la otra regla que decía. O sea, tengo dos veces lo que son two syllable adjectives, pero el primero me dice adjetivos de dos sílabas que terminan en Y. Y el otro dice para otros adjetivos que son de dos sílabas. En el caso sería boring. Y aquí agrego lo que es more. More boring than. Pero si son adjetivos de tres sílabas, cuatro sílabas a más, igualmente vengo y agrego more y el than. More beautiful than. More difficult than. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. ¿Any other question? No. No question. Please. No teacher. Okay. Teacher. Yes. For example, tired. Ah, how many syllables? Two. Two. Okay, so what is the comparative going to be? More tired. Done. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, another question or can I continue, sorry? Continue, teacher. Okay, so thank you. Um, there's another thing that you need to keep in mind and this is when we are talking about comparative or superlatives, we also have irregular adjectives. The examples would be the ones that you were seeing right now. So you can see that we have good, bad and far. So in good, you're not going to tell me gooder than because that doesn't exist, okay? And in bad, you're not going to tell me badder than because it doesn't exist neither, or far, farther than because that doesn't exist, okay? En esos tres, no aplicamos las reglas que acabamos de estudiar. ¿Por qué? Porque son irregulares. Okay, es decir, que la escritura de ellos cambia. So you can see that the comparative of good is, um, Brenda? Eh, lo leo. Please. Okay. Good, Beret, Beret, Dan, Bet, Worth, Dan, Far, Farer, Dan. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have the comparative form of these irregular adjectives. Good, Better, Dan, Bad. Worse than and far, farther than. Ok. Esta es la forma comparativa de estos tres adjetivos. Ahora bien, la superlativa, we have the best, the worst, and the farthest. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Teacher, yes. ¿son solo esos tres ejemplos o hay una lista más extensa? Um, ok, most of the time you will see only these. La mayoría del tiempo uh -huh. solo, solo van a ver esos, pero sí hay un poquito más y hay algunas excepciones. So, for example, with friendly, o sea, ustedes pueden decir friendlier than, aplicando la regla, es decir, quitándole lo que es la Y. O también pueden decir more friendly than. Ahí es excepción. Ok, so mm -hmm. let me just look for the information that I have about it. But in the meantime, we're going to be working on an exercise. Ok. And this is with comparatives as well. Ok. Siempre con lo que son comparativos. Only comparatives. So you can see there are those cars. Pueden ver lo que son esos carros o autos. 
So what can you tell me? The blue car is more expensive than the red one. Okay, excellent. The blue car is more expensive than the red one. What else can you tell me? The white one, the white one is bigger than ah. the red one. Excellent. The white one is bigger than the red and one. The red one. Okay, excellent. Let's see another example. The blue car is faster than a white one. Okay, excellent. So, what about price? ¿Y si hablamos de precio? Which, which one do you think is more expensive or cheaper? No. Ferrari. Okay. What happened with the Ferrari? Ferrari is more expensive than the Audi. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's see the next one. What can you tell me now? Or let's see the following. Probably it will. Yeah, we're talking about food. The issues. Uh huh. The issues. So, which one do you think is more delicious than the other? Wendy's is more delicious than Burger King. <laughs> I don't know. Creo que todos son de Wendy's, no? <laughs> ah, no, no, no. no we have McDonald's. Uh, Wendy's is more delicious than McDonald's. Okay. No. I don't agree with you, but okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I prefer McDonald's than teacher is an example teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, you can see we have McDonald's, we had Wendy's and Burger King. Okay, so let's see the next one. The reggae music is the better is better better sorry is better than uh, hip hop music okay excellent let's see another example maurice sure. can you oh, i'm sorry go ahead rock music is more popular than pop music excellent Mauricio, can you tell us an example, please? I, I prefer music reggae. Mm. Why? Why hip hop music? Okay, so you like reggae music better than hip hop music, okay? Okay, what about the next one? Sorry if you haven't eaten yet. Lo siento por si no han cenado aún y los estoy alborotando, ¿verdad? Sorry. So, how about this? What can you tell me? Pupusas is more delicious. Pupusas are delicious than tamales. Delicious. How many syllables? Three. Okay, so what are you missing on your sentence? 
then. Mm, you said it. You said pupusas, delicious, than tamales. What are you missing uh, uh, there? Are more delicious than okay. tamales. Excellent. Francisco, can you choose another classmate, please? Um, uh, Alex. Okay, Alex. Okay. Um, pupusas is cheaper than chilaquil, uh, enchilada, no es que son esas. Yeah, those are enchiladas. Pupusa <laughs> or pupusas? Pupusas are, ah. I'm sorry, pupusas are cheaper than chil, com, uh, enchiladas. enchiladas. <laughs> sí. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Um, Selena, can you tell us an example, please? Okay, you said delicious. Um, you said cheaper. What else? Fancy. Okay. Okay, excellent. And let's see the next one. Uh, by any chance, did you watch all of these cartoons? ¿Vieron ustedes estas caricaturas? Sí. Yes. <laughs> Todas. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me see. Gerardo, can you tell us an example, please? Bob Esponja is more energet, energi energetic. Energetic. Garfield. Dan. Dan. Garfield. Garfield. Thank you. Daphne, can you tell us another example, please? Uh, Bob Esponja is more funnier than Padrinos Mágicos. More funnier or funnier? Funnier. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, again, can you tell us the sentence one more time, please? Bob Esponja is more funnier. More? No. Bob Esponja is funnier okay. than eh, Padrinos Mágicos. Okay, thank you. Karen. Snoopy is older than Padrinos Mágicos. Okay, excellent. Okay. Um, I think that that's the last one. Yes, that's the last one that I have. So tell me, is this topic clear for you or do you have questions? Your noun is clear. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just looking for the information that I told you. Give me a few seconds. So is everything clear for you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, just give me a few seconds. Let me see where I have the information where I was telling you that there are some exceptions. Okay, so here it is. So let me just share it with you. Uh, 
Okay. So this is the information that I was just explaining to you about comparative. And okay. So here we have the irregular forms. You can see we have good, bad, far, little, many, or much, and all. Um, you can see here that we can either use in the case of all and far, further or farther, older or elder, okay? The comparative of little is less, and the comparative of many or much is more, okay? So these are some irregular forms that we have. And let me see, okay. So I have this information that you can see that we can use either the rule that we explained, adding ER, or we can add more. So these are some exceptions that we have for two syllable adjectives. So you can see we have clever, gentle, friendly, quiet, and simple, okay? Estas son algunas excepciones, es decir, que les aceptan ya sea agregándole er o more, ¿ok? Y de las dos formas sería correcto. ¿Alguna Peter, duda? Yes. Can you send us that information? Ok. Yes, Please. I can. Thank you. You're welcome. Another question? No. no. Okay, Selena. No. Ah, okay, sorry, I, I heard, yes. Okay, well, if there are no more questions, uh, remember that tomorrow we're having the midterm exam. Mañana tenemos lo que es el midterm. Uh, si ya lo hicieron, pues perfecto. Y si no, pues aquí vamos a estarlo trabajando, okay? Okay, teacher. De igual manera, deben de haber completado ya lo que es hasta la sección número 3, porque lo que es el día lunes iniciamos ya lo que es la sección 4. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, if there are no more questions, we are going to stop here and I'll see you tomorrow, ok? Ok, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night, Thank teacher. you so much for coming. See you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.